They're over my shit. You guys over it? I feel like I'm always wearing this sweatshirt, but like... <laughs> I got my nails done today. Oh! Oh, 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 look how cute they are. Not quite sure what's going to happen for this video. I don't know if it's going to be a reading vlog. I at first thought maybe I could try doing a 24 hour challenge or like see how much I can read in 24 hours. Yeah, hi, that did not happen. I don't know what I was thinking when I said I was going to do a 24 hour reading challenge. No, 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 that, no. I couldn't tell you what I'm in the mood to read, to be honest. I'm like all over the place. I've been reading romance. I've been reading thriller. Um, I've been wanting to, to read fantasy, but there's like nothing that's like jumping out at me. And I was just having this thought the other day that this whole year so far, I haven't read a five star read. And I was like, man, that's kind of a bummer because like I feel... <laughs> Like I'm just reading, but I'm like not really reading anything that's like really like getting my attention until <laughs> I just finished Wild Love by Elsie Silver. This is her first book in like her new series. Oh God, what is, where does it take place? Rose Hill series, her Rose Hill series. Just look at this cover. This is a stunning cover. This was a five star read. Absolutely loved it. I just finish this so now i'm like well now what do i read <laughs> i'm like n i keep thinking about this book and i'm like oh i can't wait for the second one to come out what do i pick up next like do i pick up a thriller like i tried reading a good husband i'll put it here because i don't remember who is the author but i'm reading that on my kindle i got like 50 percent through it and it's like boring to me. I'm like, this is supposed to be a thriller and it's not really thrilling. So I might just DNF it. I don't know. I don't know if I want to finish or not. I'm bored, I'm bored. But The Hunger Games is also on Kindle Unlimited and I'm like, should I read The Hunger Games? I just finished watching all the Hunger Game movies because they came on Netflix. So now I'm in like that kind of genre like i kind of want dystopian feel ya i don't know so i might start the hunger games or i recently just got the reappearance of rachel pierce price um by holly jackson i only read the first book in a good girl's guide to murder that series read the first book Enjoyed it, but not enough to finish it. And then I also read Five Survive. In the beginning of Five Survive, I wasn't really feeling it until the very end. So I'm curious to see how I feel about this book because like, I don't necessarily go to Holly Jackson. Well, I guess I do because I've read every single one of her books so far, but I don't know. Like I keep picking her up, but she's like not my favorite, you know? I mainly picked it up because of this cover. I mean, come on. You're joking, but also wait, <laughs> the inside <gasps> and then come on, like that's sick. So I had to pick it up. <laughs> Lights, camera, lies. 18 year old Belle has lived her whole life in the shadow of her mother's mysterious disappearance. 16 years ago, Rachel Price vanished and young Belle was the only witness, but she has no memory of it. Rachel is gone, long presumed dead, and Belle wishes everyone would just move on. But the case is dragged up from the past when the Price family agrees to a true crime documentary. Belle can't wait for filming to end for life to go back to normal. And then the impossible happens. Rachel Pierce reappears and life will never be normal again. There's more to it, but that's basically what really caught me. I don't know. I love true crime and true, a good true crime documentary. I'm curious to see how this goes, although I haven't been seeing very, very good reviews on it, but I don't know, that's on the radar. Then I watched, what's her name? What is her name? She lives in South Korea. You guys know who I'm talking about. Awesome, I follow both of her channels. I love watching her vlogs. I love watching her book videos. I wanna go to South Korea so bad. I wanna see all my K-pop idols and I just wanna go eat and drink at all the cafes. I just wanna walk around and feel safe, you know? <laughs> she talked about Snow Globe. 
Soyoung Park. Oh, I really hope that I am not butchering that. I guess this is translated from Korean to English. Ooh, and like, look. Look how pretty. What does this look like? I don't even remember. <gasps> Enclosed under a vast dome, snow globe is the last place on earth that's warm. Outside snow globe is a frozen wasteland and every day citizens face the icy world to get to their jobs at the power plant where they produce the energy snow globe needs to keep running. Their only solace comes in the form of 24 hour television program streamed directly from the domed city. The residents of snow globe have everything, fame, fortune, and above all safety from the desolation outside of their walls. Oh god, I hope I said that right. In exchange, their lives are broadcast to the less fortunate who watch eagerly, hoping for the chance to one day become actors themselves. So basically, a girl from inside the snow globe goes missing, and the directors or whoever is running the snow globe reaches out to a girl from outside the snow globe and asks her to come in and basically replace that girl because I think they look alike. I don't know, I, I'll have to read and understand it more. I'm excited to read this. I actually might pick this up next because I feel like this is more intriguing than the reappearance of Rachel Price. And also, this might feed into my dystopian type of need right now instead of starting the Hunger Games again. I feel like this is just, this intro is just so long, but I have so much to talk about. I redecorated my Kindle and look how pretty it is. It's all springy. I've got, of course, my stray kids. I'm always gonna have to have them on there. My little, my goldens. Very, very cute. This has become my new favorite thing, is decorating the back of my Kindle. <laughs> so like, I haven't really been into reading physical books. So Kindle Unlimited has been like my best friend the past couple of, you know, weeks. Oh, another thing. Bridgerton season three is coming out and I have never read the book so I'm like should I start reading the books now to get up to book three and then read book three and then binge watch season three like, <laughs> there's so many options and so little time like there's just so much on my Kindle that I want to read and Ruthless Spouse is on there too and I'm like maybe I should read it <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna narrow it down to Snow Globe, Bridgerton, The Duke and I, and The Hunger Games. I'm gonna read a chapter of each and then decide which one I want to read. I'm also re-watching Bridgerton season one. So there's that. pick that up. You gassy girl.
Okay, let's talk. I read a chapter of Snow Globe, read a chapter of uh, The Reappearance of Rachel Price, read the prologue to The Duke and I, then I read half of the first chapter of Bridgerton, then I decided to continue watching the TV show. Listen, I just had to. I don't know. I'm like into it right now. Snow Globe's first chapter, very good. But the reappearance of Rachel Price first chapter was also very good. I'm thinking the reappearance of Rachel Price. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like a thriller. Although I'm not really feeling it right now. I'm probably going to finish Bridgerton, the episode that I'm on at least. I'm tired. So I feel like if I'm going to read right now, I'm going to fall asleep. So yeah, we are going to continue with the reappearance of Rachel Price. Look at I will not get over this. I am so glad I picked this up. I picked this up not even knowing that this is what this looked like. Ah! I just want to live in this world. <laughs> what? Say it again. What? What's wrong? Say it again. Tell me. Tell me. You know what I did all day today? Finish Bridgerton. All I did today and all I did last night was finish Bridgerton, finish season one. I'm on season two right now. So right now we're either going to read The Reappearance of Rachel Price or The Duke and I, which I am out of Spotify jail now. So I might listen to The Duke and I on audiobook and read. I don't know because they're both available on Spotify. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what I pick up. I have to say, this is actually pretty interesting. <laughs> I'm only on page 24. I like the idea of it being like the behind the scenes of a making of a documentary, like a true crime documentary. Cause that's just like, I don't know. I, I feel like that's just so cool. I'm curious to see how this continues. I'm only on page 24, chapter three, but so far I'm liking it. And it's actually has some humor in it. So it's like light hearted on such a heavy topic, I guess. Hopefully it keeps up this momentum because like I said, like I haven't really been too fond of a lot of Holly Jackson books. They always sound so interesting and then I start reading them and they get kind of boring. So I'm really hoping that this keeps up, like it keeps me interested. Don't look at me. I don't know how this always happens. I don't know why I, ins I insist on starting a vlog on the weekend. And then just never finishing it. It's like during the week, I just like don't even pick up the camera. Wait, where'd that book go? Oh, it's in my library. No, I don't have a library. My bedroom, what? Also, as usual, we're going to get my hair done. <laughs> Why is it every time I pick up the camera, I'm getting my hair done? I don't know. I did finish the reappearance of Rachel Price. Are you both coming in here? Definitely my favorite book of holly jackson's if you like true crime documentaries you're gonna love this book because it's literally them making a documentary about the disappearance of rachel price and then during that documentary as it says in the title she reappears and you're just like following her daughter figuring out like who is this woman how did she come back how did she really disappear and it's just it's and the one thing that I really do like about Holly Jackson is that her endings are never what I think that they're going to be. Like you could think that one person is like the murderer or like, you know, but no nope, Holly Jackson's like, actually, <laughs> I feel like a lot of people were saying that the pacing was bad in this book, but I feel like it was perfect. I actually really enjoyed the main character. Like she's just like, a grungy teenager so i gave that book 4.5 maybe like not really a five star because like 
it didn't give me enough to be like oh my god this book is amazing i'm gonna be thinking about it 24 7 but it was good enough that i finished it in like four days and for four, four days is like really good for me also i listened to it on audible so like on my way to and from work i would listen to it in the car and oh my god the audiobook really good i love the audiobook so that was the only book that i finished this week and that's like really rare for me i usually it usually takes me a while to read a book now because i didn't really know what to read after that so i was laying in bed on my kindle i asked joe to pick a number from one to four which is like my most recent kindle unlimited books that i want to read <laughs> and he picked a number and now i'm reading say you swear who's that by i don't remember but i started that two days ago i only made it to like chapter seven maybe it's an entertaining read already <laughs> it's definitely what does it have about it is it wattpaddy i don't know i didn't read a lot of wattpad books but it gives off like this is a mess and i'm really gonna enjoy reading it <laughs> so that's what we're reading right now i have a pretty busy day today um, we're celebrating my brother's birthday, so we're going to a monster truck show. So I don't know if I'm actually going to have time to read today, but I just wanted to update you on the reparents of Rachel Price and what I'm reading now. which is chapter 13. When am I gonna start becoming obsessed with this book? <laughs> so many people love this book. I think I really thought that this was gonna be like good. <laughs> the writing, the dialogue. I like the story, where the story is and where it's heading i think okay again i'm only on chapter 13 so i have no idea what i'm talking about i'm just talking about like what i've read so far and it's not good <laughs> i can't get over the way that the two friends talk to each other it is so cheesy and it's just so cringy ah uh, i just ugh. i guess i just can't relate to it and i feel like that's why i'm so out of it like, I feel like I'm not into it, you know? We'll see if it gets better. I'm really, really liking Noah. So I feel like once he gets actually into the story, then I'm going to probably be obsessing over it because he's probably going to make the story better. Ari, girlfriend. <laughs> I'm just not feeling her right now. And I have a feeling that I'm not going to be feeling her for the rest of the story. I'm trying to remember how I was when I was 18. Definitely nothing like these characters in these books. Or maybe I was. No, I definitely was not. We're going to get ready for bed. We're going to jump into bed and we're going to continue reading this. I'm going to decide tonight if I'm going to DNF it or not. So we shall see. I'm in 
McDonald's. What are you going to do about it? Anyway, little update. I am never doing that again. Who do I think I am? I'm actually really getting into Say You Swear. I know the last time I think I was like a little bit complaining about it. And don't get me wrong. That book is cheesy as hell. Not really written very well. But am I entertained? Yes, I am very entertained and I am loving it. This reading vlog is like two weeks long because do I vlog during the week? No, for some reason I don't. Well, no, there is a reason because I don't really read during the week. I don't think there's anything better than the Coke from McDonald's. Yes, it is power. God damn it, powerful. I keep wanting to say powerless, but that's literally I am excited. I've been seeing so many good things about this novella. I am so excited and also kind of scared because I know I'm going to be crushed at the end, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm really, really thinking about doing a powerless reread because I mainly read it the first time, like listening to it. Like I listened to it on Audible or on Spotify technically. But I have the hardback of it, and I really want to annotate it. Look at how cute she is! Oh, she is so tiny! It's so cute! Let's see what it looks like. Oh, okay. Nothing special, but honestly super cute. Oh my god, this is adorable! This is adorable! I'm excited to start reading this. But should I read Powerful? Powerless? Shit, I'm gonna get this shit mixed up. This is not good for a dys dyslexic person. I'm probably gonna start this tonight. Ah! I don't know. Okay. Let's go get some food, because I am hungry! Sunday mornings hiding under covers. I don't mind staying. Let's go through the first chapter, shall we? I actually can't remember much about Adina. Like, what's her, what was her power? I don't even remember. Yes. Going to coffee shop. We like to go. Kate and I want to be with me. I love her. With you, I never feel alone. I literally just read the quote. Just the prologue. <laughs> Their friendship is so cute. Like, I want to annotate this so bad. Ugh. Okay. I'm literally kicking me screaming my feet. <laughs> We're continuing on with um, Say You Swear. I had to run into the room because I'm reading it on my Kindle, but I had to run into my room and grab my physical book because I had to annotate these lines. What was I saying about this book before? <laughs> I was basically hating on it and now I'm like obsessed with it. Noah, he's like a whole different breed. Why is this man, boy, man, boy, man, He's in college, so he is a man, but like, he's in college. <laughs> Why is he so much more like self-aware than I am? I'm reading this part. I swear to God, I did not like this book until Noah came into the picture. And now I'm understanding. I'm understanding the hype for this book because of Noah. I'm strictly only reading this for him. As I'm reading this, I'm understanding it more. Like, I'm understanding her side of things and the way that she's dealing with it. I feel like it's very okay. Something happens and they need to hash their shit out. And they're kind of going about it the way that I feel like high schoolers would go about it. I feel like because I'm older now and I'm like, just resolve the issue by communicating. And I feel like the miscommunication trope is just, you know whatever just talk your shit out just talk it out so many problems would re be resolved so much faster if you just communicated and i feel like 
Noah, the character in here, he's so good at understanding and like catching the vibe of things, especially with Ari. Just like with little things too, and it's very, very refreshing to read about. It's the cutest freaking line. So they're like in the kitchen cooking. She like needs to know, which honestly, good for you, good for asking. But she asks, do you want to kiss me? And he says, since I met you. <laughs> That's just so cute. And then he's such a gentleman. He's like, I can't kiss you yet. And she's like, why? A loss as big as you might be too much for me. So I can't do what you're asking me. Not yet. <laughs> oh my god. I take back what I said about it before. It's good. I'm honestly loving this so much that I haven't even picked up Powerful yet. But for now, we're going to continue reading. <laughs> just got the first say you swear if you don't want to be spoiled by this line or if you don't want to hear this quote skip to this time for the record <laughs> can you read it it's so good he said for the record that about killed me it was a one-time thing that will never replay itself so next time you ask be sure because i won't deny you again and she says say you swear and he said i swear <laughs> i'm loving this i'm loving this you guys, why do I want to- I feel like crying right now. Oh my god. He turns to her and says, tell me something. She says, what do you want to know? He says, everything. <laughs> oh, that was such a good chapter. Oh, it's such a good chapter. It was so sweet. I gotta go highlight. I look rough. I finished Say You Swear this morning. Man, the roller coaster that that book took me on is insane. Literally, the last time that I talked to you guys, I was like loving it. And let me tell you, I still loved the book. I thought it was very entertaining. I gave it a 4.75 because <laughs> I don't really know why. I really did love the book, but oh my god, <laughs> so much stuff happened. So many tropes. It was crazy. Crazy. I was literally in bed last night and there was a part where I like started crying and Joe was like, are you okay? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So many different tropes to the point where I'm like, maybe there was too many and that's why I didn't give a five star. There was just so much happening. It kind of like did not flow properly, but at the same time it was hella entertaining. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this little cutie now that I finished Say You Swear, but I think that's where I'm going to end this, whatever this was. It was a fun time. Um, editing it has been really fun. Oh, I just want to bite you. I feel like it, it's time to end it. <laughs> it's been way too long. I've been doing this for like two weekends now, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye!